performance? Oh, it's great. You know, I fought in uh, California in January, and I was happy to get the call to step in on short notice just because, you know, I like them. I like Invicta, I like Julie and Shannon and everyone, and, um, you know, it's, it's nice to be able to show people that women can fight like fuck, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, it was fun. Do you feel that they've embraced the, the personality? Because I definitely think when you came in, you gave a nice injection of energy and excitement. Is that something that they've kind of embraced and have kind of pushed you forward to keep giving the personality? Yeah, no, I'm, Invicta is an open book. They let you do whatever you want. Uh, almost. <laughs> um, they haven't denied me of anything yet, uh, but I'm working on it. Um, but yeah, Invicta's great, you know, like you, you get to kind of show your personality and have fun with it, and they encourage it, and you know, I, lo I, I like being I like kind of, um, you know, performing and just putting on a show for the fans and stuff. So it's been a good medium for me. You're currently training over at Alliance right now with like Christine Stanley, who's in the Victa, Jessica Penne. Can you tell us a little bit about making that transition over to Alliance? I mean, Christine had told me earlier that there's a reason why they call you Overkill because you're always working very hard over there. Can you tell us a little bit about the team and how, how it is over there at Lions? Yeah, um, the main reason I went over there uh, was because I knew they had like a bunch of girls my size and um, that was my main reason for leaving my original camp. Um, but I've I've also found like a really nice niche in you know the coaches there. Like they're all very MMA oriented. They all know how to. Um, tweak my style in order to make it work for MMA whereas before I felt like I was just kind of shooting in the dark and and doing like kind of a trial and error with every fight so it's nice to be at a gym where they they the coaches and the and the uh, teammates have a lot of experience and they're able to uh, give me little suggestions and give me little nudges in the right direction so I feel like it's really helped me a lot. Yeah, from, from going from like the UFC and the Ultimate Fighter to coming to, to Alliance and then coming here to Invicta, you, you obviously you're a different fighter. Do you think, and can you describe that kind of transition from, from being um, what you were when you started out in the Ultimate Fighter house to being here in Invicta and having two wins? Um, well, in the Ultimate Fighter house, I was definitely a Muay Thai fighter with a little bit of wrestling. <laughs> um, so uh, I, I feel like I've been able to become more of an MMA fighter now that I've been out in San Diego and just trained with a bunch of other successful MMA fighters, uh, especially ones my size. And, um, you know, in, instead of figuring it out in the cage, I was able to figure it out in sparring with my teammates. And it's just helped tremendously. Like, I feel like I feel like every fight I look a thousand times better. And, um, and yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with my decision. But how far are you out from, from a title fight, do you think? Um, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they called me for the next fight for a title fight and i take it, you know. <laughs> um, so who knows. Uh, but I'd also take a fight against another strawweight. I'm open to whatever. Like, I just want to stay active, really. And uh, I, I have the cardio go five rounds. So even if they called me short notice for a title fight, I'd take it. Like, I'm not going to back down from something like that. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see what the fans think. We'll see what Invicta thinks and go from there. You, you expressed some frustration with how everything went down with the UFC before, but you, you've now been able to come down here, get two wins, kind of get some confidence. Do, do you think this has kind of been helpful to your career to kind of, you know, as we said, get two big wins for yourself and, and stay active and, and be in the, in the spotlight that way? Yeah, definitely. Um, I know a lot of people doubted my skills, um, but I literally went from fighting someone who wasn't ranked to fighting someone who was ranked number one. So you're not going to see what I can do immediately just because I didn't have the experience. And now that I'm gaining that experience, um, I'm, I'm really excited about the future. I mean, this was a step up for me after my last fight. My last fight was against Alita Gray, um, and this fight was against uh, Stephanie Egging, who won, who, who's beaten a few girls who are still in the UFC. Uh, so I feel like um, with every step, I'm just showing my worth, showing my net worth, showing how good I am as a fighter, and eventually, uh, you know, people will see it. You're, you're, you're known kind of as somebody who's very good at marketing yourself on Twitter and, and being out there and, and being 
you know, haven't shown your personality, I guess. How much of that is just what you want to do and how much of it is trying to promote yourself and, and what you're trying to do in your career? I mean, I have fun talking shit. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> I mean, if, I, I don't know. I, I think it just came naturally to me to, like, you know, live tweet during live events and, and like even press conferences it's fun to poke fun at things especially when when something takes itself so seriously um so yeah like a lot of that is just me but also i realize you know like people are gonna follow me because i have this personality or whatever um but yeah like i i enjoy doing that i hope to you know when i stop fighting i hope to still be able to do that and still engage people and fans uh with whatever route I take after I stop fighting so yeah this is your second fight in the victory your second dominant performance is that kind of the game plan when you go in there and fight for them is just to go in there and take ass, kick ass and take names uh yeah you know like I don't want to get hurt like basically my game plan is to make them look not as good as me <laughs> if that makes sense um but yeah like I was I was really happy with this fight uh, the next fight is going to be probably a totally different game plan unless I'm fighting someone who has a similar style. So we take each fight as it comes, and we just try to highlight what I'm good at and go from there. And you said you wanted to stay active, so does that mean you're going to be looking to get into the next May card, or are you going to want some time off? No, I want to get into the next May card. Like, this is going to go down by, like... Tuesday, so <laughs> so I'll be I'll be ready, you know I'll, I'll be ready and waiting for that call from like Shannon or Julie or something, and uh, hopefully it's a good fight. Thank you. Thanks. Last question. Oh, we're good. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, guys. What was your walkout song? My walkout song. Tell me your walkout. Cause you got a walkout song this time. A sadder, acider. I'm, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but Acidor by Amin Amaris. All right, so. Yeah. <laughs>